Hello everyone, it's Loretta. Thank you for joining me. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this absolutely adorable lip balm explosion box. That's what the front looks like. So easy, so fun. You take the lid off, which this one's really snug, and it opens up. And your little lip balm sits right there. Pretty cool, I know it's awesome. So, we're gonna make one together. While we're putting the actual box together, you're gonna hear some uh, noise in the background. That's just my die cutter. I am uh, cutting out some shapes. So, what I'm gonna do is, you're gonna need a piece of paper that is six by six inches, one that's four by four inches, and one that is one and seven eighths by five and a half. So we're going to score these. The actual box gets scored at two inches on all four sides. I'm just going to use my paper trimmer because I have it out. I'm going to go ahead and fold on the score lines. This is a paper creaser from Tonic. It is my new favorite paper creaser of all time. It's just that good. It is really sturdy. It's got the metal tip on it so that you can really score some very thick materials. I'm just saying. Alrighty then. You're also going to need some scissors, some adhesive, paper trimmer, usual stuff for a project. We're going to cut away everything that isn't a T-shape. So you're going to cut from the bottom to right there, and then again here. Four by four inches and it's going to be sco uh, scored, it's going to be scored at one inch on all four sides. We're going to cut on the score lines, but we're going to do so at a little bit of an angle. I'm going to fold these score lines as well, and I'm just going to use a little liquid glue to form the box lid. Roll minutes later. <clears throat> do as I do, not as I say. Leave the cap on your glue when you're not using it. Life is so much better. So, you're going to want to marry up the sides. And just hold that in place, especially if you're using liquid glue. You don't have to do this if you're using tape, of course. I have a uh, just regular old-fashioned corner rounder. This is a crocodile, and I'm going to round the four pieces, all their corners. Now I'm going to take my little box and see if it's going to fit. Of course it does. Uh, the samples I saw online of people doing these had um, just the layer of scrapbooking paper on the outside. These are going to be uh, just little surprise gifts for some um, girlfriends on an upcoming uh, weekend, just a little girls weekend out. I'm excited of course. So these are the layering pieces for the box and they're going to measure one and seven eighths square and one and three quarters square and you're only going to need to corner around two of the corners but you're going to need eight of them so i'm going to continue doing this it's time to get these layered up I 
This is the piece of cardstock that measures one and seven eighths by five and a half. And we're gonna score it at one and seven eighths, two and three eighths, four and a half, excuse me, four and a quarter, no, four and a half and four and a quarter, so four and a half. This is where the lip balm will actually sit. I'm going to die cut a circle right here using a die that's a little less than one and a half. What I want to do is I'm going to put this little piece, which is the actual box, out of my way, and I'm going to work on the box lid. This, remember, measures one inch. This measures one, excuse me, two inches square. So what I'm going to do is cut a piece of cardstock to measure one and seven eighths square. All right, I'm going to attach this piece. Once again, it measures one and seven eighths square. It is going on the top of my box. I have some scraps of red cardstock. I'm going to measure this in at one and seven eighths by the 11 inches. Excuse me, this measures in at one and seven eighths by 11 inches, since I don't remember what I just said. I'm going to decide which is going to be the back of the box. Honestly, it doesn't matter. It's actually probably best to start it with a little bit of glue, if I can get it to come out of the container. So there is the top, and I'm really hoping this will work. If it doesn't work, you won't see it. Just saying. Um, all the stamps today are from My Favorite Things, and uh, so are the dies. Try not to lose your tittle, which is the dot of your eye or any other letter. It's called a tittle. If you do, it's actually not a big deal. This is just a um, regular glue. This is actually a wood glue. It's Honestly, it's because I have, have it on my desk. There's no other reason. There's nothing magical about it. I'm going to insert the footage of the stamping and coloring of the images for this project. I have die cut the circle from this little piece and now we're going to fold it so it'll fit in the bottom of the box. 
One thing I like to do for this is actually attach this piece that's going to hold the lip balm into place. While that sets up, I have my lip balm. And I'm going to take a glue dot. I wish I had done this with the original, but I didn't. And pop it on the bottom. So... The inside now looks like this. And I'm going to bring my sweet topper, my lid, back in. And I'm going to put it on. Because this will show me how much room I'm going to have to decorate the, the actual box itself. And I cut a lot. I stamped and cut a lot of pieces for this because I have no idea how much I'm going to need. This is just a like a little grassy border die that I cut. And you really need to treat this as if each panel was by itself. So that's actually what I'm going to do. Or you can just make one panel the very front. It's up to you. Puppy ain't going anywhere. Trim up anything that's hanging over. I really like this because you can decorate each panel individually or you can do them all the same, whichever you like. And since my nozzle to my glue is all clogged up, I'm going to use my favorite tool. God gave them to me when I was born. Actually gave them to me way before I was born. I did cut my images out with the Brother Skin and Cut 2. Excuse me, Brother Skin and Cut DX. I'm going to continue to decorate this and then I will show you what it looks like when it's finished. You do have more room on the inside of this box for decoration than you do on the outside um, just because the lid's not going to get in the way and the inside it's going to flop open like a exploding box normally does. So I'm going to use these same little images that I have stamped and I have this tiny little stamp set also from Lawn Fawn. Everything today, once again, is Lawn Fawn. Apparently, I can't figure out how I want to put this stamp on. Seriously. I didn't sleep well last night. I need a nap. But I also need to do the laundry. I had no idea why I'm having such a hard time with this. Honestly, I don't. It doesn't make any sense why I would be having a hard time. This tiny little stamp that you can't see right now says you are amazing. I am very blessed with some very dear friends. All right, while we have this flipped open, I'm going to put my information on the bottom. Bring our little lip balm back. And bring up the side so we can get the top ready to go. And all you would really have to do is just make a small little tag. Or you could just use this little sticker of some kind. And once again, I'm making sure that... Where it says, by Valentine, as it wraps around the box, will be facing the right direction. Then the recipient won't be quite as confused as to how it gets opened. So here you have it. There's the top. And there's the Be My Valentine. 
with its cute little critters and flowers and stuff on it. And open it up. And it does act as an explosion box. I may actually have to do redo this little black piece. When I scored it, something went wrong and it's actually thicker on one side than it is the other. I'm not sure why. But anyway, this is a fabulous gift for anyone. Uh, husbands, friends, in-laws, outlaws, okay, maybe not, um, but super simple. I honestly use scraps to make this all together. This one took maybe an hour only because I wasn't as organized as it should be as far as my supplies are concerned, but that's fine. Sometimes that's just the way things are. I am going to be leaving a card up here. Uh, for you to watch another series of videos if you're interested uh, Just click those and you can see some of my other videos and uh, Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already leave me a thumbs up and share my videos on your social media all supplies will be linked on my blog LorettaRoger.com. If you have any questions send me an email. Have a great day everyone Sam Peppy, be a blessing. Bye for now.